Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about the Freedom Aerial Dog Run. Now, what is a dog run? A dog run is essentially a line that you connect between two trees or your house in a tree or your deck in a tree or your deck in a shed or something like that. But the idea is you're gonna connect this line between these two stationary objects and then you're gonna attach another line to it and to your dog. And then this is gonna allow your dog to pretty much wander your backyard without fear of it running away or getting lost. Now an aerial run is a good solution for someone like me that has a backyard but doesn't have a fence. I actually priced out a fence and it was gonna cost me upwards of nine to $10,000 to get a fence installed that would uh, prevent my dog from running between the posts and escaping. Uh, and that was kind of out of my price range. And for $100, I got this aerial dog run on Amazon. And it essentially comes with all the cables and connectors you're going to need to uh, essentially set one of these up pretty quickly. Installation time is about 35 minutes. It took me about an hour and 35 minutes because I got caught up at the very end of the process, which I'll show you the steps I took to install this. So you can kind of get an idea of what is involved. Uh, but at the very end there, I did get stuck and I struggled for a bit before I abandoned one step. But uh, I think everything's going to be okay. Anyway, let's take a look at what's inside the box. In the box, you have the main cable and it's a coated cable. It has a plastic coating on it and that's pretty good because it'll resist rust. It also has, and that's 100 feet by the way, it's 100 feet. I only needed 75 feet so I ended up cutting mine. Uh, so you can use it for 100 or less feet, if that's all the space you have. Uh, it also has a lead that is 15 feet. And so if you multiply 15 feet, in my case, times, uh, well, I'm not sure if you get the full 15 feet, but close enough, 15 feet times 75, you get about a, a little over, I think, 1,100 feet, uh, square feet for my dog to run. So that's perfect for me. It also comes with a link, turnbuckle, thimble, some lag screws, and wire clips. And the tools you're gonna need for this aren't too bad. You're gonna need like a quarter inch drill bit, a large screwdriver, a wrench would be helpful, and a few sockets. And the package comes complete with a uh, instruction manual. Well, not really a manual, but more of a colored printout with all the instructions. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and you'll appreciate having the instructions there. Now, first things first, before you begin this process, you're gonna to wanna to find two objects that you're gonna mount this thing to. Uh, in my case, I have two trees, and you're gonna to wanna to put a pilot hole, a quarter inch pilot hole, about seven and a half feet above the ground or higher, and then you're gonna put your lag screws into that hole, and you can pretty much twist them in by hand up to a certain degree, and then you're gonna use your large screwdriver to help finish the job until you've turn that screw far enough that the threads are no longer visible. And you're gonna repeat that process with the second tree, so you have two mounting points. Next, you're gonna take the included turnbuckle and you're going to extend it to maximum. You wanna make sure, this is, gonna, this is like a tension rod and what you're gonna do is open it all the way up so after you connect it, you can then tighten any slack in the line. Next, you're gonna attach the aerial run at the turnbuckle end to the lag screw using the quick link attachment. You can tighten this by hand at first, but then ultimately you're gonna to wanna to use a quarter inch wrench to just make sure it's nice and tight. Once everything's connected to one side, you're gonna pull your cable all the way to the other side, and then you're gonna slide the lead line with the pulley onto the aerial run kind of need to thread this thing through before you attach it to the other tree. Now this is the tricky part and uh, your mileage may vary here. Ultimately I couldn't do this, but uh, you're gonna take this thimble and you're going to bend it open. That, that I could do. And then you're gonna hook it on the lag screw on the opposing tree. And then you're gonna kind of straighten it back out and clamp it down so it's hooked onto that tree. That part you can do. The difficult part now is you're gonna to try to now thread that line through that uh, thimble and then try to connect it and secure it. And that's where it gets tricky because uh, you know now I'm 75 feet out and you know had my wife helping me out. She's pulling on the line and we're trying to make this connection and there's a lot of weight. I mean, this is a heavy duty uh, you know, braided cable and it just kind of weighs a lot. It was humid, 
you're starting to sweat. There's nothing really to grip onto but this thin cable, and you're trying to hoist it really high while you make this connection. It was a nightmare, because at the same time, you're trying to balance this uh, thimble and, and keep it in position while making this connection. So yeah, I think I spent about an hour trying to connect that before I kind of gave up, and I just kind of left, you know, I took the thimble out, and I just wrapped it around the, the lag screw. Now that shouldn't be a deal breaker. Obviously that thimble is there for a reason. It helps distribute and protect the uh, braided cable from being, you know, frayed or damaged. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of weight on that cable just by the cable alone, not including your pet who might be pulling and tugging on it. Uh, it is thick. I don't see mine going anywhere. Um, you know, my dog is about eight pounds and so I'm okay with it. But uh, you know, you might wanna get some help when you're trying to hook this and pull it so that, uh, you know, a few more hands on it so that maybe you can hoist it up and, and, and make that connection properly. Next, you're gonna wanna take the included wire clips and you're gonna want to mount them in opposite directions on the same side. So this is the side that you're connecting. You're gonna, you know, tighten them on by hand, I guess, or attach them by hand, put them in opposite directions. And then once you have them, uh, you're gonna pull as much slack out of that long, you know, in my case, 75 foot cable and pull it until it's nice and taut and then tighten those uh, bolts so that that completely secures that cable. Now you're gonna have slack in your line no matter how hard you pull and that's okay and that's what that tension rod's for. And at the very end of the process, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tighten that tension rod and you can do that best with a wrench. You'll just put a wrench on it and you'll spin that thing, I think it's clockwise. Anyway, there's arrows that tell you which way to tighten, which way to loosen, but that's on the opposite end of the tree. You're gonna tighten that up and you're gonna remove pretty much most of the slack, if not all. Uh, I was able to do all the slack uh, and that all depends on how much you, you know, pull the, uh, and uh, you know, how much, how much slack you remove from the line when you are mounting that second tree. All right, so at this point, everything looks good. All my connections are good. And I am going to uh, put a couple more wire connectors. Uh, there's two left. And those are there really to be used as stoppers. Uh, and they're genius. It's great that they're included too. Uh, the idea is uh, it prevents your dog from wrapping himself around either of the trees if you happen to mount it to trees. Uh, and you just push that stopper out or you mount that stopper out uh, essentially the length of the, the lead, you know, the, the part that connects to your dog. And if you mount that, um, you know, it's 15 feet. So if you put those stoppers 15 feet from either end, you're going to be golden. It's going to keep your dog from wrapping himself around a tree and, you know, causing all sorts of drama for you. Anyway, that's it. I like this product because it solved a problem I had for a lot less money than I was willing to spend. Uh, also, as an engineer, I like the fact that the build quality on this thing is really good. They didn't put any cheap parts in there. Uh, I like that the lines are coated in plastic so that they don't rust. And I like that the lead line is attached to a pulley. And so this allows my dog, even though it's only 10 pounds and this is rated for a 100 pound dog, it allows my dog to kind of move effortlessly and not be encumbered by the whole system. It's not just simply one line looped over another line and generating a lot of friction as the dog runs back and forth. I do recommend that if you're gonna use a solution like this that you put your dog in a harness of some sort. I wouldn't put this around their neck or you know, attach it to a collar around the neck. Uh, you'd also wanna supervise your dog. I wouldn't leave the dog alone out there with this and just you know, go inside. I mean, you wanna make sure you're watching your dog so they don't get into trouble. I'll put a link to this product in the description below. If you have questions or comments, please ask. Make sure you like this video before you go and I'll see you next time.